Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl from Picks and Parlays and Earl Sports Bets, and welcome back to another edition of Ballin' Out with Tim Earl. And today we've got a five-game NBA slate to go over. Uh, smaller slate, but uh, hopefully we get some decent plays out of this. Uh, before we jump into it, we'll go ahead and look back at yesterday, which as I'm recording this, um, none of the games have started yet because I'm recording this at 6.55, which I will say all um, I put out disclaimer. I don't bet all my plays that I give out on this show, and uh, all the ones that I do are on this website. And lines are subject to change, so I figured I'd mention that. The only two plays I have tonight over in the Spurs game and uh, and the Suns are my best bet. So we'll see how that goes for tonight. But we'll go ahead and check out the games for tomorrow. Starting off with the Bucks and the Pacers. The Bucks are eight point favorites. Two thirty seven and a half is the total. And uh, when I looked at this one, I just I, I'm I'm a sucker for home dog. Yes, I know the Pacers haven't been playing all that well as of late. And uh, this was actually the same spread as the last Bucks game against the Nuggets, which was interesting. Um, which they yeah, the Bucks are coming off of a win against what was left of the Nuggets after they sat four starters, and they only won by eight. So it's a little bit concerning. Uh, Pacers, I know without Halliburton, they they've won one out of their last nine games since La uh, since Halliburton's gone out. I'm not going to say that they win this game, but I think they keep it close enough. I'll go ahead and grab the eight points. Grizzlies and the T-Wolves. My best bet will be on a side in this game, so if you guys are interested in that, you guys can go ahead and check out the picksandparlays.net website for that one. Um, but as for the total in this one, I'm going to go ahead and take this one over the total. Uh, Minnesota has uh, they've been scoring the ball lately. Uh, they've They've uh, scored about 115 points a game, and they're allowing about 115 points a game. And then you get Memphis, who is a top-five offense, and their defense is meh, uh, 13th, so about average. But 117 points a game that they're getting. Uh, Memphis, I think this one will be a higher-scoring back-and-forth uh, game. So I'll go ahead and take the over 237. Cavaliers and the Thunder are up next. This one's a pick -em. 227 and a half is the total here. The Cleveland Cavaliers will be on a second leg of a back-to-back -back after playing Houston tonight. Uh, Oklahoma City, fresh legs. And Oklahoma City, one of the hottest teams in the NBA. 8-1-1 one one against the spread in their last 10. 7-3 seven and th seven and their last 10. I'll go ahead and take the home team. Uh, this one's a pick -em, so I'll take their money line at minus 110. I think this line is a little bit short. And uh, because of that, I'll go ahead and grab some Thunder action. Two games left on this short slate. The Orlando Magic are in Miami taking on the Heat for the Battle of Florida. Uh, Heat are six and a half point favorites. 217 and a half is the total. Although I lean towards the under in this game, I'll go ahead and take a team that's been covering a bunch this year. And uh, by covering a bunch, 27, 20, and 1 against the spread this year. One of the better covering teams in the NBA. And six and a half points is just too many. You can count it as a road game, but both of them are. It's in Florida, and uh, I think it's going. This won't be a lot closer of a game. And I think the Orlando Magic probably have one of the better chances to pull off an upset tomorrow. So uh, go ahead, give me the Magic plus the five, uh, six and a half. Final game of the day is the Golden State Warriors. They're five and a half point favorites uh, with a total of two twenty nine and a half in this one, and it's it's just the Warriors at home. Uh, the Toronto Raptors are coming off of a nice win versus the Sacramento Kings. I think this could be a little bit of a letdown spot for them. Uh, they have won two straight games, so I will point out that. Golden State coming off of a crazy win against Memphis. Previous to that, they lost to uh, Brooklyn. So, so far down there, two, game, two games at home. The last two games that they played at home, one and one. Uh, but I'll go ahead and take the Warriors to win and cover the spread. I think they win by double digits in this one. So give me the Warriors at home to cover the five and a half short slate tomorrow, only five games. So it's a little bit of a quicker video, but I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you guys want to check out what plays I have up on the site, cause I'm not betting all five of those. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check that out. One week pass for only $70, including my best bet. That's going to pretty much do it for this episode of balling out. I want you guys all for watching. Till next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NBA. Good luck guys.